What are you watching? And we are live. Sorry about the delay, guys. We had some technical issues, but we're all here now. <laughs> I had this slated to start about 45 minutes ago, but we're here. We're here. That's the main thing. Yeah. All right. So we have the guys from the Baird Circle yet again. We have Dan. Hello. Yay. And we have Calvin. Hey there, everybody. And we have Matt, who we can actually hear talk this Hi. time. Hi. You <laughs> he ha me. He's it's got a, a voice. Dave. <laughs> and my internet off. That was the problem, apparently. <laughs> amazing. So, amazing. Yeah, I'm like a, uh, so we won't have to just nod and pretend like we're hearing him this time. <laughs> yeah. Good point, Matt. All Good right. Time. Absolutely, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah, totally, totally, guys. Great. Let's talk some rumble. That's right. All right, so let's let's go right into it. So we got a lot to talk about with the rumble coming up. So we'll start with the thing that I'm sure probably we're we're most excited about, which is the ladies' rumble this year. Mm. What do we What do we think about the women's run rumble, and what are the predictions? So, uh, should we, should we, should we, should I say what we're all thinking slash expecting to happen? Pretty uh, much. Ronda Rousey's going to make her debut and she's yep. all, and I'm half, I'm, I'm really hoping that, that the entire, that she just blows the roof off of all of Philadelphia. It's, it's, I, I can't wait. <laughs> I mean, uh, they, the, that's obviously the uh, the expect the big expected surprise is that this this whole thing is a way to debut Ronda Rousey. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, the thing is about that though is that Stephanie announced this week that uh, she's going to be doing commentary on uh, <clears throat> on the show, yeah. and so now. There is a. I think there is a way to do this without having Ronda win. Um, you have Steph. Steph come in at thirty. Uh, sneak oh. in on Ronda Rousey. <laughs> setting up, setting up uh, their WrestleMania match, and then Oscar coming from behind and yeah. kicking Stephanie's head off. And yeah. See, I was given. I, I was get. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and predict, like that. My my fantasy booking is where they're going, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and and call this one for Oscar. Yeah, I think they they've painted themselves into a corner with it at this point. The, mm -hmm. the I mean, she yep. should win, but the undefeated streak has to continue, and the the only way, the only logical point for it to end would be WrestleMania if. It ended there. So yeah, I, I, I'm in agreement with you. Yeah, I'm in agreement with you guys. Oscar is probably going to take the whole thing. I imagine that's my my theory as well. So uh, other than other than other than Ronda, who do you think is going to be some of the surprise show ups? I think a lot of the divas that mm -hmm. were on Raw, so Beth and or Beth Phoenix and Trish Stratus looked amazing. So I'm sure she's going to be there. I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, thought, I'm excited for the Bella twins to to make their yeah. rated return. That'll be fun to watch. Yeah. And 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 then I I think even though Lita wasn't on the 25th, I think she'll be there. Oh, I would I would love mm. to be there. That would be I, awesome. I, I'm hoping that I'm hoping that's why she wasn't there, as they were saving her as a surprise entry for the Rumble. You know, right? Well, what would be interesting though is if maybe Reddy Sky debuted, hmm. and which is Ooh. Hardy's wife. Oh, that's true. She won't want her. She that, won't want her in the building. You see, so. that would be cool. That would be cool. Though I'm hearing things now that find now that Matt finally has his broken house has the rights to the broken persona mm -hmm. that he's actually trans that he's actually like changing woken into broken and that he's actually going to introduce Rebby, Senior Benjamin, and even Maxel to the whole fray pretty soon. Right. So, I, I I don't know if they I don't know if they need to change it from yeah. his current standing to broken. It's I mean it's basically the same gimmick. So either well either, I don't know. 
either that or he needs to he either needs to ramp up his rivalry with Bray, like it needs to kick it into high gear. No or Bray. And completely. Either either or it needs it needs to it needs to go up like a thousand percent or it just needs to die. Like, yeah, that's no more fair. Bray. Uh, Calvin, you say no more Bray? No uh, more Bray. Jesus, enough. I love Bray. I love Bray. Oh, it, I it love just, Bray too, he doesn't he does get the he doesn't get what he deserves. And you know what? At the end of the day, like like until they turn him face, I'm done with Bray. I mean, yeah. because it's they were gonna do it too. They were gonna do it after like uh, one of the WrestleManias, and then he got injured. Because I think it was back when uh, what's it called? Uh, but he was with Roman, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, no, no, the League of Nations. The, yeah. the League of Nations back out of uh, WrestleMania Love La- or WrestleMania Thirty Two. Um, and they were going to turn him face and the whole Wyatt family face, and then suddenly he gets injured and is just off TV for three months. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, well, I guess we're going to write you into a yeah. corner. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah it's, uh, getting back to the women's rumble, mm. uh, we know, uh, we apparently know that uh, there are going to be 13 uh, women that from the main roster that are on there. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I believe they've already announced uh, nine uh, NXT women. Which makes sense. Definitely, yeah. They're definitely going to be involved. And so that's 22. Uh, figure Ronda Rousey at 23. Um, Stephanie is 24. So you have six six spots there. Uh, I'm guessing the, the two Bellas. Um, Beth Phoenix, Trish, Trish uh, that's five. Lita. Uh, as much as I would love it, love it, love it, and her return would blow the roof off of the uh, off the building. Uh, AJ would be amazing to have at thirty. Uh, <laughs> we will get on that topic, I'm sure. Right. As we get into the men's Royal Rumble, but <laughs> we are the surprises that are supposedly in store there. Um, mm-hmm. um, well, speaking of speak, yeah, we all know she's married to you there. Speaking of which, oh, how amazing would that be if you know? We'll, we'll, we'll. I guess we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> topic. But oh yes. my god, my Chicago, my Chicago loving heart. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. I think, I think so bringing back, bringing back somebody big like, um, I mean, they could bring back Karma, but. They have Tamina and they have Nia, Nia in the ring. Kind of, film, kind, honestly, of film, kind of film that role. And yeah. on NXT right now, uh, Shayna Baszler is going to be. Oh, Jesus. Oh, she's going to be. She, they're doing a good job with her. She's going to wreck so much face. It's ridiculous. That, yeah. That, yeah. That Dakota Kai match was, was painful to watch. Like that arm stomp was painful to watch. It really was. Oh, yeah. and they, they sold it really, really well. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um. So we got the. Yep. 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 <laughs> yep. It's gonna be a lot of that. Speaking yes. of yep, the, oh, yeah. the WWE title match. Our favorite uh-huh. weapons. Mm-hmm. Yes. What do we think? Do you think? Do we think it's gonna happen? What do? No. We, what's happening? Not a chance in hell. No. <laughs> no, nah, I don't think so either. It's gonna plant the seeds for them to feud again. And honestly, they do better as a feud versus yeah. a feud more than a team. If you go back and look at so anything sure. from ROH, I'm not so sure about that, man. It, like having w- watching Sami Zayn obnoxiously, obnoxiously skank. <laughs> I love it. I Dude. fucking love it. So Kelvin I mean, and I were hanging out uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, I was in New York, and Kelvin was just. Talk. It was just oh, giving all the love to Sami Zayn, and and he he's perfectly right about it because all he needed to do was just turn it up a little bit. Yeah, and, and there you go. <laughs> it, it's perfect. It's I love it. I watched it the other night. And I watched him doing that, but the sarcastic skank up. And I was like, I love this. I love this. Wait, he needs he, to keep this for a bit. He's the uh, he's the little dog that's following around uh, 
Do I think it was Fester on Looney Tunes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, you, you'll be in panels, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> what are the, so on that topic? What are do you think they're building to between Shane and Daniel? Oh, Brian's turning heel. There's no doubt about that. Brian's turning oh, heel. Yeah, everyone's everyone's everyone is like still con or not. Uh, everyone's still speculating. Oh, is Brian gonna return? Is is he gonna return? And as much as everybody wants to, and as much as I want him, you know, back in the ring so much, it's not gonna happen. WWE is nah. not going to clear him, but yeah, I could definitely see a big feud. But he wouldn't let him get back in the ring. Have you watched Total Divas? Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, um, I'm, yeah. I'm not I'm not a fan of Daniel Bryan at all, so I, I'm completely okay with him not coming back. Yeah. I don't, I don't, right. I don't get it. So, I mean, his I mean, he's a great wrestler, him, but no, he'll probably, you know, leave for potentially greener yeah. pastures. So, yeah. But yeah, I, yeah, uh, I mean, I think that's more so, the more likely scenario is he's going to get fired. <laughs> well, Most yeah, likely. I mean, I, I read a report somewhere that said that they were turning they that they were going to turn Daniel Bryan because um, they're sort of pissed that he that he's been dropping all these hints about leaving, and so they wanted to hurt his market value um, by turning him heel. Which doesn't I hope make that's sense. not right. I um, hope right. not. I mean, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. But and, no, and you've seen all like, these. Subtle hints that he's just giving in terms of turning heel. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like I, mean, I don't know. Maybe not even sounds so. like a good idea. It, it's just yeah, not subtle at all. Yeah. yeah. Okay, not subtle at all. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. It's so subtle like this. Dun dun dun. Yeah, and it's just like I, I think if they, I mean, like I said, I think AJ is going to win. I think if they do plant the seed for Kevin and, and Sammy to split, it'll be re role, role reversal. So Sammy will say heel. Yeah, Kevin will go mm -hmm. face. I've got AJ. AJ will go to go on to feud with somebody else. But the whole Brian and Shane thing, it's either going to end up being a McMahon Trump thing where they pick their avatars to wrestle for them, or they somehow or they approve Daniel for like a no hold barred street fight kind of thing against Shane. Yeah, and I can see that. Really, you know, yeah. or they're building up, to, or they're just building up to a new GM, which. Uh, Nikki Bella was rumored to be GM, the new GM for a while, yeah, behind the scenes. So there's there is that possibility as well, where she, where she's still on contract and technically she's not really supposed to wrestle. Um, you know, so there there is that possibility as well. But I guess I guess we'll see with that one. That's but there's that's there's a, a, a there's a spoiler out there. Well, not even a spoiler because. It was. It's been advertised uh, by their website, um, but the supposed uh, main event for Fastlane, which is the SmackDown uh, March pay per view, is a five way uh, for the title. Right. With uh, I think it's Nakamura, Orton, um, Zayn, and Owens all challenging o AJ for the title. So, oh wow! Yeah. Yeah. So that's what, it, yeah, that's what I read too. That uh, mm. like it was, it was like clearly spoiled for Fastlane, and that's what was happening. So that's that. I can't. That that does a. That sounds like an awesome main event for Fastlane, uh, and b. That does not sound mm. surprising to me. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So what I, I and my I excuse me, my list just went off the screen. So do you guys know what what are some of the other matches that are are the the um the pre show is rude and rude doing an open challenge for the U S championship. Oh, um, really? Coming back. Gallows, uh, Gallows and Anderson versus Dawson right. and Wilder. Dash and Wilder. That would be, that would be fun. And then yeah, uh, uh, the revi the revival are <laughs> they're they're so hot. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, when Dash when Dash came out on Raw, I was like, Jesus Christ, yeah, that yeah. butt, that butt. <laughs> all, 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 Craig, I could I could not stop talking about it. And Craig is just sitting next to me, dying, laughing. I'm like, <laughs> I, I would leave you in a minute. I don't even care. Like, it, ha it, ha it happens every time he comes that. on the screen. Yeah. Inevitably, we end up we end up talking about his ass every time. 
It was, Every it was the time. That did it for me on, on I, oh, uh, I was in Dash well, across right. and had like the like the roughneck beard that just looks ridiculously amazing. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. 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 Uh, Total yep. Split. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Um, but the, uh, the the U.S. Open Challenge, I mean, that's a, as good a place as any to bring back Dolph, I guess, if he's not. Oh, yeah. Um, that, um, that's a good that point. That would be a bad payoff, though, for, for it being on a pre-show. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they, uh, that's I a good agree. point. That's a good point. I agree. I also, I, I also heard that they were like specifically writing back Dolph into this narrative to potentially get a ladder match uh, going for the U.S. title. I don't know right. what that would be, if that would be something for Fastlane or probably uh, more appropriately something for WrestleMania. I'm yeah. hoping it's, it's for the ladder. Um, but could, it, could, it could even just be – it could be an NXT call-up. That could, yep. that could be it too. Yep. Um, but, yeah, I mean, if, if Dolph comes back, I just hope that they kick a feud between Dolph and Bobby – or you know, or, or somebody in a high gear for that, uh, right into Fever Pitch for WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. I think that would be great. Um, but a, it starts at the Rumble. Who was it'll it was really, it'll be interesting. Who was Rude feuding with before he left NXT? Was it Roddy? Strong? No, it was uh, no, it was Drew. It was Drew McIntyre. Was it? Oh, that's right. That's right. It was Drew. Title. He dropped the yeah. He dropped, he dropped the title to Drew, to Drew but. but he was also feuding with with Roddy yeah. in that whole like you're not good enough to, to come up. Uh, you're not. Which is enough. which is interesting because, from my understanding, Drew is now cleared to wrestle again. Oh, so that that's a possibility. Uh, that is a possibility. Hopefully, I mean, I mean r- rumor rumors were already out there that Drew McIntyre was going to show up in the Rumble, but that would be a good place yeah. for him to show up too. Yeah, yeah. I mean the. Uh, it was reported just recently that uh, the surprise title switch wasn't actually a surprise. It was. Mm. It wasn't because of an injury. Uh, Drew was just getting called up, and uh, and then he got hurt frequently yeah. at the last second. Well, I mean, it would make sense. He's been at that level before. It's not new to him, so he didn't need as much prep time in NXT as some of the other ones do. So it makes sense to call him up. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. But um, yeah, and then there's also a, a six-man uh, cruiserweight tag. It's Kalisto, Lince Dorado, and Grand Metalik versus TJP, Gallagher, and Drew Gulak. Let's be honest. Does anyone really care about that match? Um, really? Here's the thing. If they really cared about the cruiserweight division, they would have done what we all wanted them to do and – Put a twenty-man mini Royal Rumble for the title. And, yes, and that probably would actually make us care about the cruiserweight division. Mm-hmm. Okay. That would have been an easy way to bring in people like Ricochet, Hideo, um, right? Gargano. Yeah, bringing they back, bringing back Neville. Yeah, with the person oh, who God, shan't be named <laughs> with <laughs> with the person who shan't be named. Leaving the WWE this week because I'm not even going to say his name because he's disgusting. Mm. Um, yeah, they they had a big opportunity and I think they blew it. <laughs> well, I agree. Ne- don't d- forget about Neville because Neville is either never mm. coming back or mm. if he is coming back, he's not coming back as a cruiserweight. Right. Because um, yep. that's the whole reason why he he left. That's why he left in the first place. Yeah. And um, that's the right, that's the reason why Austin Aries left WWE. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he just won the he just won the title at Impact, so congratulations. Uh, yes, it was obviously it was obviously a good move for him. Yeah, yeah, no, noted, for him noted ally Austin Aries. Um, so you know, good good on him for for making uh, making a good career choice for yep. himself. Yeah, but um, yeah, I mean, right now I think. The smartest choice at 205 Live is if if we're going to keep it going, which is not even clear. It's getting that if, point. Yeah, if, if they're going to keep it going, um, I'd say give the title to Drew Gulak because he's the entertaining guy on that show. He's, he's been doing he's been doing very well. 
Um, yeah. and, and, and the, the introduction of a new general manager next week. I mean, I, mm. the, the only one that I, I think in my head that kind of makes sense is maybe Tajiri. Uh, um, I'm thinking, and I'm hoping this could happen. Uh, Ray Mysterio. Oh, that but, could be cool. That but if cool. Ray Mysterio came back, would you really want him to be the GM of 205 Live? That seems kind of like a waste of his talent. What else could he do? I don't. Yeah. I mean, he could probably still wrestle. Like I was going to say, have you watched Lucha? Because he can still move. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, he is. He still got it. He still yeah. got it on Lucha. Um, honestly, I but Tajiri is Tajiri is career is done, and he's yeah. still on contract with WWE currently. So, but. Honestly, right now, the, the name that I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, I think under whatever name they give him, it's going to be Rockstar Spud. Yeah, that really? makes sense. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's, he's signed. Um, and, uh, he's essentially waiting assignment. And from what I understand, he is not um, probably not wrestling much, if at all, anymore. So we'll see. As long as it's not Hornswoggle. <laughs> right. Um, no, so let, let, so let's be clear here. So by the sounds of this conversation, we could care <laughs> less about the six-man tag, but we're interested to see if they're going to do something to save 205 Live. <laughs> yeah. Accurate. Yeah. That's, yeah. <laughs> uh, Moving on from the, the Rob Tag Team t- uh, titles. Ooh. Yeah. Be, uh, Cesaro and Sheamus winning back the, the belt from uh, Seth Rollins and Jason Jordan. Absolutely. When, I, when Jason Jordan finally completes the heel turn. Do you think you know, that's going to happen right away? Yeah, I hope so. I never, I never thought I would be amused by Jason Jordan turning heel. Uh, hmm. But I am. <laughs> really? I never, I, this... even, I never even, yeah, it's just, uh, I don't know. He's, the, he's just a funny little troll. He's a, he, I'm not sold on him at all. I don't, I don't really have anything invested in Jason Jordan. No. So I don't really care one way or the other. The only thing, I mean, given Seamus's injuries, I don't know if putting the belts back on them are going to make sense. It would be really, it only thing. makes it to me. It makes sense to do it just to get them, um, just to get somebody else in the field because the shield's done. Dean Ambrose mm. is not coming back for a while. Yeah. Seth and Ryan, Roman are going to go do their own thing. Jason is not a substitute for Dean. No. But you have, you have all these other teams that could easily do it. And if WWE does bring them, like if they bring up AOP, for example, and they do it right, then it really wouldn't hurt anything. But right. if, they do, if they do Ascension again, they're going to just screw themselves. So no, they have a whole bunch of other people. I think what what it's going to come to here is eventually, and pro- hopefully sooner than later, they're going to get it. Uh, they're they're going to give it to the revival because I I think they're the best choice. They have to. Like they've been, yeah, they've been plagued with injuries the past few months, but it's just like they've been groomed for they've been groomed for the titles. They've been very very like very well uh prepared for it yeah. um you know they, they've gotten these they've gotten yeah and all these guys um it's just the injuries have been holding them back but it's, right it's got to be it's only a matter of time there yeah i mean I, and, I, I mean i wouldn't mind seeing that uh title around that waist yeah <laughs> both of them, both of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, i won't complain i won't complain um, and, and I mean, there's also Anderson and Gallows as well. I mean, they're they are kind of pushing in the direction that you know the Balor Club is going to do something. So if we, get, if we get Balor Club like Anderson and Gallows versus the Revival for the titles, I will be happy as a clam <laughs> with with really? the Laws tag team division. I, with, I, I, I feel I feel like Larry will be would be writing some erotic fan fiction again for that match. I think yeah. <laughs> Did we lose Kelvin? <laughs> Hello, Kelvin? Yeah. I think oh, lost we him. lost Calvin. He'll we be back. Calvin. Uh-oh. Rude. We couldn't we could oh, not go the whole cast. Oh no. Oh no. We lost him. All right. Do you guys know what the 
what other matches are going on. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, we've Smackdown, got the Smackdown one of the falls between Shelton mm-hmm. Benjamin and or Shelton Benjamin, Chad Gable, uh, and the Usos. And oh, I forgot about that one. Good match. The, um, the Usos are going to drop those belts. Yeah. Oh, they have to. Yeah. After after what just happened with one with whichever one it was. Jay. He yeah. Got, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I could. Yeah. You're. T- I think you're totally right. It's been a bad like, week. It's been a bad week to be part of the Samoan family. Mm. A bad month. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll get to the other Samoan, you know, in, in a second, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's – yeah, I, I wouldn't surprise me if uh, if Jay and, and Jimmy drop the belts because Shelton and Chad have been wrestling the hell out of everybody on SmackDown, and they – they, they, they deserve it. They really deserve it. They're probably going to drop it soon to, I don't know. Ugh, I don't want to say it, but it looks like they're going to drop it to the Bludgeon Brothers. Ugh, um, because, oh, God. Did you just say that? Yeah. I, 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 I the really Bludgeon hope, Brothers? <laughs> I really hope I'm wrong. But ugh, if there are two people that, that just really don't need another push, it's... It's uh, it's Luke Harper and Eric Rowan because, or or even another repackage. I, it, I'm so sick of them. But if they just let Luke Harper be and like go by himself, we'd be fine. Yeah, Eric Rowan is year. awful. It looked great. Uh, and then yeah, and then they basically, you know, and and it was it was the perfect time too because it all you know it happened at the at you know at at uh like almost the peak of near WrestleMania. So, mm. you know, he played a really big part in where the title picture was. Mm-hmm. Um, and then as soon as, you know, everything was said and done, he was kind of just like, you know, tossed out by the wayside. And it was really disappointing. I mean, we mm. all knew it was going to be Randy and, and Bray for the title. But, like, they could have at least done something or, or had him involved, at, you know, at the end of you know, maybe maybe on like the first SmackDown after WrestleMania or something. They, mm. they could have done yeah. so much with Luke Harper as a singles competitor. Yeah, but, I'm a little pissed off about that yeah, actually. I'm very sad about that. <laughs> uh, but, um, the other uh, one. I, so I, I mean, I do. Hope I'm totally. Mm-hmm. Go, Matt. No, um, yeah, but back to the back to the. Uh, Back to that title match. I, I'm really hoping that uh, Shad and, and and Shad, wow, Shelton and Chad get that uh, get that win and get those belts. Shad. <laughs> Shad. Oh. oh man, that's Drag Race Tepperman, not uh, <laughs> not wrestling. Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, the, the other match besides the Rumble was the Brock and. Oh yeah, and, yeah. Um, the Jesus, it's gonna be a throwaway match, though. It's, totally, it is. Kane's gonna um, Kane's gonna take the pin. It's gonna be from Brock. Yep. Brock's yeah. not gonna win the belt. End of story. Yeah. yeah. It. I, I'm hoping it'll at least be entertaining to watch. Um, at least a lot more entertaining than uh Brock versus Braun uh, at No Mercy because that. Had that had the ingredients of of looking like an amazing monster match between the two, but suddenly it was just like okay, Braun just sells the Kimura lock really well, and that kind of just ends it. And, yeah, uh, I hear so you. I'm, just, I'm really hoping we see some really great heavy spots in that match because um, you know triple threat, no you know triple threat, no disqualifications. So. Um, I, I'm I'm expecting to see some tables to get broken. Uh, oh, announce, for sure. Announced tables to get broken. Hopefully, actual tables getting broken. Um, the Spanish yeah. announced table is always the first to go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I Rip Spanish announced table. I'm expecting. <laughs> I'm expecting big. Hits. I'm expecting uh, big moves, big slams. Uh, you know, if if it's gonna be predictable, let's make it at least fun to watch um, and entertaining to watch. Uh, you know, cause that's the, like, it's not always about the result. It's always about how I, I, I'm always a big fan of, of, of the how in, in more so than the result. 
you know, how it happens, how they get to there. Um, and yeah, if, if, if Kane catches that F5, there better be a lot of stuff that happens uh, up to that point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Man, yeah. Brock. What, what, yes. Yeah, what, what's, be, your, uh, what's your opinion? It'll be Brock. Kane takes the pin. And that's really, I mean, I'm not, ex- nothing about this match excites me whatsoever. Oh, right. Kevin's um, back. Kevin. He's back. Yeah. We're, we're, ch- we're talking about the triple threat. What do you think? Um, I'm thinking uh, Brock keeps the title. Mm. Uh, Unfortunately, <laughs> um, yeah, I hear you. That was my thing. I wanted Brock to lose that since he got it, and they're insistent on ruining it and keeping it on him and not having it defended. So nobody cares about it anymore. I wouldn't have minded. I really wouldn't have minded if they had uh, Braun win the title from Brock. Like I wouldn't. I, I would have loved it if Braun and Brock would have exchanged the titles like yep. a couple times, kind of like. Kind of like John Cena and Randy Orton did back in 2009 or something. Or 2010, 2009, 2009. Um, so, you know, and then, you know, end the feud somewhere before the end of the year. Um, and, you know, then kind of, you know, go where the plan for WrestleMania 34 has always been. Uh, the same song and dance with Roman beating Brock. But, you know, like at least make it an interesting story to get there. Um, you know, like, yeah, I, I, I agree. It's, I agree with Dan. Yeah, Dan, it's, it's a throwaway match, but God, none of us get they better. Yeah. <laughs> but wouldn't you like, but what would, wouldn't it be awesome to see Braun win it though? Like they okay. surprise all of us and prove us all wrong, but it's not going to happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Especially because, um, the uh, Melter just reported, I think it was yesterday, um, and this is a possible spoiler alert for WrestleMania, so if you don't want this spoiled, you're going to want to either mute this or if you're watching this on tape, um, you know. Just fast forward. Yeah. You're up for, for a minute or so. It's going to be awesome, though, isn't it? The current plan for WrestleMania is an intercontinental championship match between Braun Strowman and The Miz. So I see your uh, face, Dan. <laughs> I I love The Miz, so I'm all about it. I've been a fan. Man, I've been a fan of The Miz since him and Morrison were tag team. The, Mi- the Miz he's been is, great. is by far the best heel on the roster right now. Yeah, yeah, um, and yeah, him. Him like playing chicken to uh, to Braun for the next couple months would be would be fine, um, but I think uh, be fun yeah. to watch yeah. too. Yeah, because the but, amount of the amount of antics that they can get away with, uh, and 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 with how uh, with how much fun both Braun and Miz love to have in mm-hmm. and out of the ring, I think they could make something really cool happen. Yeah. Yep. And, like, but to the point, um, <clears throat> Braun having that program in at WrestleMania precludes him from winning the title here. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think Brock is is a lock to retain. Um, oh. Hey, rhymed. Yeah. Uh, well, let's hope we're all wrong. Let's pray to the WWE gods and. That they have a change of heart, but it won't happen. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we're be- we're down to the big match. Yeah. So, who are going to be the surprises during the rumble? Huh. It's going to be CM Punk. <laughs> Stop saying that. You know what? I've been hopeful that that was going to happen. <laughs> Never either either okay. uh, either Phil Brooks is throwing out stuff out there to throw us off the track, or he's legit not even. Not even thinking about it. Or he's legit right trying now. to revive his UFC career. And Put the camera on me right now. Yeah. It is never, never happening. Never. He is never. never coming back. All right. Now put the camera on me. Or he, don't, don't, he is perfectly happy. He saved his money. He doesn't have to come back. And he doesn't want to come back. He, he's perfectly yeah. happy just getting the crap beat out of him in the octagon. It's okay. Exactly. Exactly. 
Which, going back to the earlier conversation, is also why AJ is not coming back either. Yeah, yeah. No, they're, so, married, they're happy. They're, they're never going back. There are as far as I know, as far as I know, according to according to Twitter, they're both in New Zealand right now. Yeah, yeah. There are, if there you are can if songs. you can believe that. Yeah. If they if these songs start playing, that place is going to flip out, and it's going to be if they say shock the system. If shock the system comes across the that that PA system. The roof's gonna blow off, and Adam Cole's coming out. If they say, "Oh, a, wrestling only has one," wrestling has more than one royal family. That roof mm-hmm. is blowing off because oh that God. means Cody's coming back. Oh, I don't God. think it's gonna happen, Cody Rhodes. Oh, okay. But I don't think it's gonna happen just because he's in a feud now with Omega. But it would be amazing. Really? I I, I thought he was the American Nightmare Cody. I, I didn't know he had a last name anymore. Cody. Mm. Yes, Cody. Well, yeah, Cody. My bad. Yeah. Now, uh, the one that I, 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 I'm more confident than most that if you've watched the spoilers online, it looks like MVP is making at least a short comeback in the WWE. For a bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He was 25, so. as long as the Godfather lasted last time. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, 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 no. He's actually, from what I've read online, what, how much of this you can believe, he's signed on for a short contract with the WWE. So okay. they're looking like six six to eight months. So yeah. there might actually be a small plan for him. It might not be just a Royal Rumble appearance. There might be That's good. For the I next mean, six months. I could I could yeah. I could yeah, see he's that. a good solid hand to have. And uh mm-hmm. you know he's he's somebody that uh that's good for one of the younger workers to work with. I mean uh hip him and Jason Jordan could have a fantastic set of matches. Yeah. Ooh, um, you know, and that's that's a good call too. I never thought of that. Yeah. Um, and, he, and, come, and he comes in as Jason Jordan's stepdad. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, that would oh. actually be good. So there's two <laughs> things that that can't happen. Uh-huh. That I think the two things that can't happen, and if they do, I will break my television set. Are <laughs> if or if Triple H or Roman Reigns comes in at number thirty again. Here's the thing: I well, will break something. At number thirty, but I've got a feeling that Roman Reigns. Like, if if we if we talk about the winner for like one second, my it, head will explode. My sure. head will, like, like, literally, it will be in the news on Monday yeah. that my head exploded during the Royal Rumble. They yeah. they won't give Roman that a third win. Nobody I mean, no. Austin is, I think, the only one that has a third win, right? Yeah. So they're not gonna, they're not yes. gonna give him that record or, or have him tie the record. Not this soon in his career. Like yeah. he's, he's still got years and years to go. It's either yeah. uh, my, my, my feeling is they're either giving it to Roman or Cena. Ah! Because that's what I heard. That's what I. Heard I'm kicking. Was- I'm kicking you out of this chat. I don't even want to hear those filthy words. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> go- Going back that. to what Kelvin was talking about with with Miz and Braun, though, there's rumors going on now about where Cena's going for Mania. Yeah, and it's and not that, a title match. And that is not, not a title, title match. match. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, which is which is why, uh, like, um, I was talking about. Well, we were having this discussion on uh, the message board that I'm on, Death Valley Driver. Uh, if you're oh. want to talk about wrestling, uh, feel free to to join DeathValleyDriver.com. Anyways, uh, there in the thread, somebody pointed out that basically the Philly crowd at number 30 is going to be expecting one of two people or they're going to shit on it. And one of them is, is Punk. The other one is Daniel Bryan. And <sighs> that's what my thought is, Daniel the, Bryan. The only way uh, that they won't shit on that is if 30 is the undertaker and yeah. you know i i any of those scenarios make sense actually i agree with that yeah um punk is an obvious no daniel bryan i don't know what i, I don't it's know what doing. question mark we don't know where he stands so it's, uh, like- those three i would say uh most likely is is taker um uh, mm-hmm. Setting up his program for Mania, um, which I won't spoil. 
but uh, there there is supposedly a, a plan out there for him. So who Cena? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we know well, we, we know what it is. Better, we, yeah. might well, we, we might as well we might as well not lie about it. The, the rumor is Cena and the Undertaker. We know it's out there already. Which I so, believe, if if Cena wins, would be probably it for Taker's career. I honestly don't even want to see Taker fight another match. No, Man. Perfect not even a minute. Last like, year. like yes, that that was it. And he ha- and, and what bothered me is he had the t- they had the chance to do it in a, such an amazing way on Monday night and they blew it. Yeah, mm. yeah. I, um, now, from from what I heard, there was there was supposed to be more said than what the Undertaker actually said in the ring, but apparently he got very confused when he went out to the ring and saw such a small crowd. Which, <laughs> which that's what I read. Is that center. come on? Which is dumb because I mean he <laughs> he has worked in that building before. He knows exactly what the size is. Exactly. Um, yeah, but, I but maybe not. Maybe not for a long time, though. I mean, yeah, but still. I mean, Taker is, mm. if nothing else, the consummate professional. If he mm. had, if he had things that he had to hit, he would have hit them. Yeah. So, uh, so NXT it, call ups. Do we see any call ups ha- happening during the Rumble or? One time appearances, probably. Cole. Cole would be. I, I would, co- yeah. I would, I would be surprised if he didn't show up. Same thing with Alistair. Alistair. I'm thinking. I think, oh, I love Alistair. Alistair is one of my favorite NXTers right now. Yes. I mean, Alistair Black looks like he's being really groomed for the, for the NXT title. Yeah. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me, though, if they both entered the Rumble and they both fought each other and somehow one eliminated the other. Yeah. Um, and that would just further, uh, yeah. you know, further ignite their feud. I want, I want to. I, I could see that they're not. Neither one of them is going to get called up. I don't think yet, but maybe a one-time appearance in the Rumble, very possible. That would be huge. Yeah, yeah. Drew is a McIntyre is a big one. That's. An, I mean, that's definitely a name I could see coming up. I think Drew's going to come in one way or the other. I think it's either going to be in the Rumble or now knowing what the pre pre match is going to be. Maybe even the free match. Yeah, um, the two the two names. Uh, well, one thing since it is Philadelphia, you, I'm pretty much expecting at least one old ECW um, name to show up. Oh yeah. Uh, if uh, if nobody else, um, you know, Tommy Dreamer is probably wow. still up there. Uh, I was going to throw out Tommy Dreamer. And he would, you know, it would be me a good nostalgia spot, and like, not like he has to travel very far to get there. Good um, point. Although that that being said, there is a former NXT. I'm sorry, a former ECW champion out there who is a free agent right now, supposedly, and um, he is in fact the last ECW champion, if I remember correctly, and that, ah. that is Bobby Lashley. Yes. Uh, yeah. I would. I would absolutely put would money at this point that. to see to see him back. You think uh, Bobby Lashley? Yeah. I think Bobby Lashley. And uh, that being said, also, I think uh, we're gonna see. We may very well see the return of uh, Dexter Bateman. Um, Derek, Derek Bateman. Uh, Derek, Derek Bateman. Derek Bateman, who uh, is now more commonly known as. Ethan Carter. Yes. So, um, so one of the one or both of them, I'm expecting to show up at at least one of these shows this weekend. Um, Bateman slash Carter. I if he's not in if he's not at Takeover, I'm expecting him in the Rumble. Yeah. No question. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe Lashley will be the one that answers the U.S. Open challenge. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Both of those are entirely possible and both of those would be very uh very good and since Rude knows both of them um yeah. from his time over at uh, TNA or, or and or Impact um they they would probably be able to work the uh, the match well. So both of those are 
both of those would be my my big surprises for this uh, for this rumble. But in terms of winners, um, I think uh, I'm going to go on out on a different path from you guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and and call that if it's a raw person, I think it's going to be uh, Finn Balor. Mm-hmm. The long rumored uh, Balor uh, Brock match, which I love that, which would be fantastic. I would love that so much. And, <laughs> but the one who I think is going to end up winning it is this is going to be the coronation moment for Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah, Ooh. that's what I also heard too. Because um, the AJ Styles uh, Nakamura. Uh, match has been teased a couple of times. It would be amazing to see uh, to see those two get uh, a solid half hour to work at uh, at WrestleMania. Yeah, and um, you know I think they could put on an absolute classic. Um, yeah, I think for that to work, at some point though, they have to turn one of them heel. A, a face-face match at Mania doesn't make sense to me. No, it that's does, true. It, it Either it that or they could do a, an Austin Rock WrestleMania 17 thing, right. uh, which would be really cool. Um, mm. But if that happens, I could only see – I could probably only see AJ going heel. I've never yeah. really seen I, – I haven't seen Shinsuke as a heel, but I'm – Galvin, I'm, you probably could uh, correct me there. Uh, Shinsuke is a good heel. Shinsuke what? Shinsuke is a a mean motherfucker as a heel. Yeah. Um, from NJ, uh, from IG strong Pro. style, uh, you know, back uh, what was it? The Chaos Club, I think it is what is the fact. Yeah, in, yeah right. Chaos in back in uh, in New Japan. Um, yeah, the, he uh, he is a very very good worker. He can work both sides. Um, he can look pretty vicious as a heel. Yeah, I think, but I think I think right now the that's a money match. I think the other money match is uh, is Brock Balor, um, especially now that they're setting up the Balor Club again. And, if they get to that, though, I'm hoping they do. Yeah, because right now my heart's saying Balor, but my heart is saying either Balor or Nakamura, but my gut is saying Roman. As much ah! as I, know. I know, I, I go home, Tefferman. Go home. <laughs> I'm gonna have this really uneasy moment, like for like the last half hour of the rumble. And they and they and you know they'll tease it. They'll then, tease yeah. it. And it's right. gonna be like, I please not Roman, please not Roman, for the love of well, God, not Roman, because the I, play- we will all be yelling that on our TVs oh. as he's doing well, because you know it's gonna happen. He will be he- in the rumble. Like he well, will, I, and he and he'll do well. They'll probably have him eliminate exactly. seven or eight people, you know. But yeah, I like I said, my heart, my I got my heart set on on Finn or Shinsuke, but my gut, uh, my gut and my brain is just thinking Roman, and then I'll just you know, like like you said, Greg, your head will explode. I think my head will explode too. Mm-hmm. And, and what I, about what about you, Dan? I'm obviously yeah. a Finn guy. Um, <laughs> Finn shirt on, but if if it, if this is where I'm going to differ, I totally don't see any other payoff than the, with this Dolph, Dolph Ziggler thing than him winning it. It I have a feeling it'll hurt him. And on Raw, I honestly don't think it'll be Finn. I think it'll be Miz. They're pushing him hard, and he, I think he's ready now more than he was how many ever years ago that he, you know, main evented with Cena in Atlanta. Yeah, then that's going to be hard to do now that he's intercontinental champ, though. They they've done champion versus champion though. That's Walt, true. Ultimate that's Warrior true. Hulk Hogan has yeah. been a while. You're correct. Oh yeah. So that, I mean, I that's my guess. Miz or or Ziggler. That's the only way to pay off the Ziggler thing, other than him just being totally gone. Yeah, which mm. I would be okay with. Him. Which we all pray he actually is. <laughs> yes. Well, I either yeah I. I I think if for for me with Ziggler, I either wanted uh, like I want all or nothing from Ziggler. Like I want him to win it all, or I just don't want him. Yeah, I, I can see where you're coming from, Dan. 
think about that that entrance though like his new gimmick like not coming out to any any music he comes back his hair just slicked back in a ponytail and with like black trunks no gear no robe nothing just walking that long aisle to the ring in dead silence that that would be a wrestlemania moment right there Mm. that sounds pretty cool that does actually you can picture that if he pulls something like a CM Punk circa 2011, I I would not complain. Yeah. Yeah. Except. Could you imagine if the moment yeah. happened though? CM Punk comes out there and wins the Rumble. Oh my God. Anything, no, it's not. Unless unless it was in Chicago, unless it unless they had like all this stuff lined up for him, and and it had to be in Chicago because it's it's. That's CM Punk's town. Philly, uh, Philly makes just as much sense, though, because he started where he started. He, where he made his name is at ROH. Yeah. And that's mm-hmm. where it started. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I, I, I could see it in Philly, but I feel like it would have to happen in Chicago. If 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 ever, if ever he were to return. <laughs> Calvin's like, it's not going to happen. It's not so. going to happen. <laughs> Calvin, I'm right. It's not. I know. There's wishful thinking. I mean, but you're right. It's, it's, it's never going to happen. It gives him it gives him nightmares to think about coming back to WWE. He actually says that. Like yeah. he, he I mean, that in all the appearances he makes, yeah, he, I it's mean, never going to happen. That, all this being said, you know, me me being the the hater here who's saying he's never coming back. I want to make one thing clear. I would love for him to come back. I would love him because he's a, an incredible worker, an incredible personality, and probably the most popular guy of the last decade whose name is not uh, John Cena or uh, Dave Bautista. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's another uh, one. Yeah. That's um, another rumor I've heard too, so. Yeah, oh, that's not true. I, I I can't. See. He's too big. He's too big of a star now. I don't see it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I Drax. And I'm. Batista's at the at the point now where he's he could he will make a cameo appearance at Mania, and that's it. That's all. Yeah. 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 Um, he's not gonna. He's not gonna wrestle. He doesn't need to at this point. Nope. Right. And so, well, all that being said, well, Punk is not coming back. Um, the but, Rock. Let's think about that. Yeah. <laughs> But then again, after after the Rock's last stunt, I don't think you will see the Rock around for a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. I just wanted to let you know the fans are all, I'll still love you, the, the CM. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was oh yeah. classic, classic. Yeah. Ugh. Guaranteed, Vince was none too happy with that. <laughs> but it's Dwayne. Yeah. Do whatever the hell he wants now. It's true. It's true. Vince is too busy with the XFL now. So. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, let's not talk about the XFL. Uh, let's pretend that doesn't exist. For XFL. Yeah. yeah. Where, 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 where everybody has to stand for the national anthem. We're not political, but, you know, you all have to stand. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sure. <laughs> uh, hey, you know what? You know what? It'll get. It, it needs more jobs for like a a, a year. <laughs> for a year. Oh God! Let's not get on that topic. Yeah, we're, gonna, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna party like it's two thousand one. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, I'll send. Uh, right. I'll send Instagram pictures uh, since I'm actually gonna be in in the Wells Fargo Center on. Uh, Ooh, lucky. Yeah. Have an amazing time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. Uh, very special friend. Uh, got a uh, Christmas present from me after having a uh, pretty rough year last year. And um, I wanted to uh, have him start out 2018 uh, in style. So we're going down to Philly. Going to have some fun. And um, yeah, we're going uh, gonna to have. Oh, fun. I am so fucking jealous i can't yeah. i yeah, can't I even that. right now we all can't even <laughs> i mean I actually but have luck 
I'm willing to sell the ticket if you guys it, like my ticket at least if you guys want. You know, gotta no. pay me. What what what? I I don't have any I I don't have any money, but I'll pay other ways. Mm. <laughs> Philadelphia. I'm I'll you amazing company, but you know. I will gladly pay you Tuesday <laughs> for, uh, <laughs> and on Sunday. <laughs> Amazing. Right, well, now you guys, will, it'll be awesome. Uh, yeah. You'll have so much fun. It's gonna be a really fun. Thing. Are you gonna? Are you going for NXT and for that, or just? No, no, just just uh, just the Rumble. So, yeah. Um, a friend suggested to go to uh, the Chikara event. That's. Uh, <sighs> Sunday afternoon, but I think it doesn't work out time wise. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, all those all those indie shows usually do something around the big shows. So. Yeah, yep. yep. Chikara Chikara starts their season, of, you know, because Chikara doesn't work like regular house shows. It works on like seasons. So um, their season debut is that not, is that afternoon. So and that's I, poor planning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Uh, she had to come in and give me a kiss. <laughs> she's like, I've been trying to get on this camera all night. She has. She's been. She's, she's been getting in there. How locked you? Out of the room. I locked. I locked. I locked my my buddy out of the room. Nah, she's a good girl. That's right. Want to pay attention to me? <laughs> well, on that note, we made it through the whole thing with very minimal. Uh, technical issues, so we did all right. Thank Minimal. You. We lost. We lost Calvin welcome. temporarily. You're all welcome. Thank Yay! You. Matt, we got Matt to turn off his fan and his air conditioner this time. So okay. it's, <laughs> it's goddamn time. January, Tepperman. Leave the air conditioner off. <laughs> I'm a human right. furnace. Yeah. All right. Well, guys. Until next time, we'll probably have some other guests on with us next time. Then. There was a few people that were supposed to be on this time but didn't get around to it, so we'll get them in the next time. Uh, right but on. anyway, hope you. Uh, we'll see how close we are on the Rumble predictions, I guess, come Sunday night. <laughs> Alrighty. I fully Fantastic. expect to be completely wrong, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I, I do, too. I hope I'm wrong about a lot of these things. I think Maria Menounos is going to win the women's, champ women's one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Sonny's going to come out of retirement. Yes, that'd be great. <laughs> wait, but wait, wouldn't she have to say sober for a minute for that? Oh, oh that's fair too. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Sunny days indeed. Shade. Throw a little bit of shade there. All right. Well, guys, everyone, have yourselves a great night and enjoy the rumble. All See right. you guys. Bye.